So on YouTube, when you YouTube, acting ratchet, acting ratchet, uh, on my girlfriend prank, you see at least 20 channels did the same prank or did the same thing. So what do you call them? Copycatters? Call me a copycatter. I'm cool with that because I copy the right cats. <laughs> what I'm supposed to say? Nah, 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 nah. I don't want to copy them. So I ain't gonna do it. And trick myself out my position? No! Not doing that. What's up y'all, it's your girl Nick G, the host. And today I'm back with another video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And if you are new, welcome to the league. So I just wanted, I just wanted to make a little video real fast cause it's been a lot going on this week. You know what I'm saying? Literally um, with Clarence Queen, um, what's it, Leslie, um, Chris, you know what I'm saying, things like that. I've been on my other channel reacting to it. The channel's called Roy Reacts. It started acting right, I don't know, just roll with it. If you wanna see the videos, you can slide on over to Roy Reacts and check out the videos. Also, I'm on Twitch doing live streams every day. Slide on uh, Twitch, Royalties World CEO. It's gonna be Royalties World Reacts or Royalties World CEO. Just find it, I'm there, we having fun. You know what I'm saying? So, I've been seeing comments lately, and uh, one thing I remember last year, when I was going through my uh, little depression and all that, was I kept responding to the negative comments, right? So, I got all these positive people saying good things about me, but I'm responding to the negative. So now, instead of me responding, I hide you from my channel and I keep it moving. Because the comments that I get aren't, absolutely bad their assumptions and when you assume things you make an ass at yourself i want to address the good comments the great comments okay i don't even have to read them i see them all the time and i want to speak on the good comments especially in the beginning and then we're gonna get a couple assumptions out of the way now <clears throat> one good comment i keep saying is thank god for tt she helped you you know get out of the the hump that i was in you know what i'm saying the 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 bad space i was in mentally tt helped me get out of that that's a fact 100 percent. that's not an assumption that is a hundred percent fact i appreciate her so much and i do anything for her. um she is truly a blessing as far as you know just being a a, a friend just being a damn friend she's just a good damn friend though. you know what i'm saying um she's been here since last year since i was at my lowest you know, and she's gonna be here when I get to my highest. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate her so much. And I thank y'all for acknowledging that and, and that y'all accept her and things like that. I appreciate that so much. It's so much easier for my life. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, let me bring this closer because I feel like everything is in the camera except me. Okay, um, also number two, you guys are liking the content. You like the way that the channel is going. I decided to show more content because I don't show enough, right? So for those who don't know, I read the Easy and Natalie book. Somebody sent it to me, shout out to you. I read the book, um, The Master of Social Media, I think. I could be wrong, but y'all know it's The Master of Something because they have mastered social media and they actually wrote a book to share, um, to share how you can be successful on YouTube as well. Woke up every day for about three days at six o'clock in the morning just to read the book, get into it, and, you know, change what was going on with my, how I was running my channel. Because I just, it was all over the place. Y'all know that, y'all been here. It was just all over the place, right? So I'm like, yo, I gotta change the way I do things. So I read the book, amazing, and I switched up a lot of things that I was doing, and now it's going in my favor. You know what I'm saying? It's, I, I appreciate them even you know, putting that out on a platform because they don't have to, you know what I'm saying? People love to hide, they love to hide um, knowledge, you know, when knowledge should be shared, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people ask me, you know, Nick, how do you become successful and things like that? I'm not successful on YouTube yet, so I, I, that's not something that I can honestly answer. I haven't mastered it yet. I'll go there. I haven't mastered it yet. So, I mean, I could tell you the basics. The basics is, <laughs> Google how to how to start a YouTube channel and do it. That's that's those are the basics. That's what I did. I Google how to start a YouTube channel. I watched YouTube for an entire year to its entirety. I fell in love with DK4L. 
DMB Nation, uh, Chris and Queen at the time, and you know, just how they were doing things. I mimicked them. It's called being duplicatable. I duplicated what they did, and I got to where I needed to be with that. Started watching flight reacts, got into uh, reaction videos, and went from there. Now, one assumption that I will add in here that is considered a negative is stop doing other YouTubers videos basically. I ain't even gonna put out the name of who it is but stop doing their videos. See one thing that I dislike about black people, us as a unit, I understand that I can speak for us. So this ain't, don't go with the colorism and the light skin and the dark skin, it's us. Anything that hit white is black, all right? So us, I'm black, I can speak for us. One thing I don't like about us is people don't understand that life is duplicatable. Let me run you down what duplicatable is. When you have bread, you have one bread company that started bread, okay? Let's go with Marita Bread. Marita started Marita Bread. Then they created wheat bread. Somebody realized that they can make bread better and they can add a little, a little ingredient to it. So they made their own bread, probably honey, honey wheat bread, and named it uh, Sarah Lee. After Sarah Lee bread, somebody decided that they wanted to make potato bread. So potato bread came up with their own name. That's three brands with bread, but it ain't made the same. Understand black people, life is duplicatable. You just have to get into a company that allows you to duplicate. So on YouTube, when you YouTube, Acting Ratchet, Acting Ratchet uh, on my girlfriend prank. You see at least 20 channels did the same prank or did the same thing. So what do you call them, copycatters? Call me a copycatter. I'm cool with that because I copy the right cats. The only way you can become a leader is to follow. Understand that black people. The only way to become a leader is to follow first. Leaders that are leaders now follow somebody else. McDonald's wasn't the first to have a drive-thru. Taco Bell seen they had a drive-thru, they got one. Wendy seen they had a drive-thru, they got one. Jack in the Box, Zach's hell, even Subway now. I think Chipotle got a driveway at this point, a drive-thru. When the pandemic hit, everybody had to get barcodes to scan to find a menu. Somebody brilliant came up with it and the rest followed suit. Don't be so ignorant. And don't play yourself out your position. Cause that's an issue that a lot of us have. I don't wanna wear what they wear. So I ain't gonna do it. Nike wanna give me a deal, but everybody wear Nike. You tricking yourself out your position. It don't even make sense. Easy and Natalie wrote the book, the art, of social media or the master of social media whatever because they've mastered it to teach other people like us to be successful on it <laughs> you were supposed to say nah 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 i don't want to copy them so i ain't gonna do it and trick myself out my position no not doing that therefore i'm gonna follow suit that's one thing i wanted to touch that's one negative that i wanted to speak on early you get what i'm saying um a lot of people have been talking about my weight loss. Thank you so much. I have worked my ass off to have this body that I got. And I am not all the way where I need to be. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I just got to get rid of this stomach and it's time to tighten up after that. You know what I'm saying? These arms, these arms is looking real sexy right now, baby. So I'm really, honestly, I can keep this little bit of stomach and get big arms and I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of stomach is okay with me because I have big breasts. So me having a... a like my six pack gotta be thick if I get a six pack. You know what I'm saying? It can't be no, I can't have no, no, no waist. No waistline with these big titties. That ain't, it just ain't gonna work like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> I just wanted to talk about that. Um, thank you so much though. I've been getting a lot of compliments. My hair is getting long. Um, my hair is getting on my damn nerves. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'm ready to cut it. To be completely honest, I'm not going to yet, but I'm ready to cut it. It's almost down to my butt. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have to cut it, get it short for a second, then keep doing it over and uh, eventually I'm gonna be out here looking like Clarence. <laughs> I'm 
on my face. You know what I'm saying? For real, because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I would never. Braids, plaits is a dub. Anything that I have to comb my hair, I'm tender headed. So it's either going to be a fade or dreads. And that's just period. Um, but I just want to touch base on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, another, I'm calling this assumptions because I, I don't know what, I, what other way to title this video. Because you are assuming and making an ass at yourself. Another assumption is that I'm biased. So I want to I want to speak on this for the last bit of the video because I need to, I'm uploading videos right now. So everybody wants to call out that bias word and doing it real frugal. It's almost like you didn't learn anything else but bias. Let me speak on bias. First of all, when you support somebody, naturally you will see their point of view. Don't get me wrong. So if that makes a person biased, that's fair. But when somebody brings receipts, normally that's when everybody goes that way. Like, oh, they brought receipts. I mean, you can't beat receipts. You know what I'm saying? Receipts is, is uh, that's the thing. Like, if you saying something without receipts, it's not credible. Just like in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in court, if it's not in black and white, it ain't credible. So, you did a video with them. You only gonna be on this show. Fair. That's fair. I wanna say this. There's no need to question if you think I'm biased anymore. Because I'm Team Clarence all the way. I said what I said. Um, this man came out with receipts. <laughs> Number one. He the only one making sense. He don't, he, he's the only one making sense. Also, he's the only one with receipts. Credible. Anything else is, is discredited. Everything else sounds crazy to me. Like, I'm, I'm losing my mind watching this. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. If you think I'm biased, which you're going to have your own opinion anyway. But it's an assumption for me. Because I'm going to go with credibility. The boy got receipts. He the only one with him. That's what I'm going with. And if that makes me biased, you got it. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to touch base on that too and uh, bring out some positives and a couple negatives I've been seeing but I love y'all so much I thank y'all so much for supporting me man um, I'm gonna go ahead and get out this video because I got 139 things to do but thank y'all so much drop some pranks matter of fact text me some pranks text me some pranks at 470-334-4800 that is a real number do not call it because I will not answer 470-334-4800 text me heli heli pranks so I can get TT. And make sure you subscribe to TT's channel. It is Candy Island. Shorty over there getting views and, and she lit over there. Y'all gonna get to learn who the TT really is. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm sorry I couldn't. I was talking too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, I stream every day live on Twitch. Royce's World CEO. Y'all might wanna follow me over there. We lit over there. Later. <laughs>